We took a, a title of a class, Living in Two Worlds, to our elders, the Salish and the Kootenai elders. And we asked them to translate what that would mean in their languages. And what came back to us was a process of giving up something for something. And can we live in two worlds? Maybe. I, th I think probably we are. But that also means we've given up something to be able to do that. Maybe the task for Indian people today is to rediscover what is that most essential part in their worldview that we do not want to lose and how do we how do we maintain that i'm told that it takes up to 5 generations before a a value truly changes if that's the case we are someplace close to that range for for people who begin in boarding schools here and and those folks still discover that when you begin to look into how we treat each other, many traditions are still there. And when we get called to our, our most extreme, um, when we're the tiredest, when we're the least, least able to put up a, a, a contemporary front, we tend to exhibit many more traditional values than, than we were aware of. My mother didn't consider it herself a traditional. She was a full blood from Kansas, and, and she was dark, but she didn't consider herself a traditional. She was a boarding school success story. And yet, she was one of the most giving, one of the most communal, one a, a person whose who's, um, words were chosen to be the most fair to the next person. Nothing was said hastily or, or without thought. Those are all traditional, um, traditional behaviors. And, and yet, so, so we don't always know what is traditional and what isn't. And sometimes, especially today, we have children relearning what is traditional. And we have young people who are taking up the cause of language revitalization. We have young people who are taking up the cause of, of returning to traditions. We see young people who are coming out as dancers and 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 more involved in in many of the activities that if assimilation had worked they would have gone away they aren't going away so so i think we are we are struggling with how we maintain all of this both as a people and now with indian ed for all how do we share that